हेलो एवरीवन आई एम जगदीश पटेल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर संदीप फाउंडेशन नासिक द नेम ऑफ सब्जेक्ट इज ब्रॉडबैंड कम्युनिकेशन सिस्टम दिस वन इज यूनिट फोर ऑर्बिटल मैकेनिक्स एंड लॉन्चर्स दिस वन इज लेक्चर नंबर टू इन विच वी आर गोइंग टू सी ऑर्बिटल इफेक्ट इन कम्युनिकेशन ऑफ सैटेलाइट आई एम हैविंग ट्वेल्व इयर्स ऑफ टीचिंग एक्सपीरियंस स्पेशलाइजेशन इन डिजिटल कम्युनिकेशन टाइप्स ऑफ सैटेलाइट बेस्ड ऑन ऑर्बिट्स जियो स्टेशनरी और जियो सिंक्रोनस अर्थ ऑर्बिट दैट इज जीईओ सैटेलाइट आर सिंक्रोनस विद रिस्पेक्ट टू अर्थ लुकिंग फ्रॉम अ फिक्स पॉइंट फ्रॉम अर्थ दिस सैटेलाइट एपियर्स टू बी अ स्टेशनरी दिस सैटेलाइट आर प्लेस्ड इन अ स्पेस इन विच इन सच अ वे दैट ओनली थ्री सैटेलाइट आर सफिशियंट टू प्रोवाइड कनेक्शन throughout the surface of the earth that is their footprint is covering almost one third of the earth the orbit of satellite is circular there are three conditions which lead to geostationary satellite lifetime expectancy of this satellite is 15 years the satellite should be placed 37,786 kilometers, approximately to 36,000 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. This satellite must travel in a rotational speed of the Earth and in the direction of motion of the Earth, that is eastward. The inclination of satellite with respect to Earth must be zero degree. Geostationary satellite, in practice or in practical. is termed as geosynchronous as there are multiple factors which makes the satellite shift from the ideal geostationary conditions low orbit low earth orbit satellite leo this satellite are placed 500 to 1500 kilometers above the surface of the earth as leo circulate a lower orbit hence they ex exhibit a much shorter period than that is 95 to 120 minutes leo system try to ensure a high evolution from every spot on earth to provide a high quality communication link each leo satellite will only be visible from the earth for around 10 minutes using advanced comparison schemes transmission rate of about 2400 bits per second can be enough for voice communication leos even provide this bandwidth for mobile terminals with omnidirectional antennas using low transmit power in the range of 1 watt the delay for packets delivery via leo is relatively low approximately 10 milliseconds the delay is comparable to the long distance wire connections about 5 to 5, 5 to 10 milliseconds smaller footprints of leo allow for better frequency use similar to the concept used for cellular network leo can provide much higher evolution in polar region so better global coverage can be provided next is medium earth orbit meo satellite meo can be positioned somewhere between leo and geo both in terms of their orbits and due to their advantages and disadvantages using orbit around 10000 km the system only requires a dozen satellite which is more than a geo system but much less than a leo system these satellites move more slowly relatively to the earth rotation allowing a simpler system design satellite provide satellite periods are about 6 hours depending on the inclination a meo can be cover larger populations so required few handovers disadvantages again due to the large distance to the earth delay increases to about 70 to 80 milliseconds the satellites need higher transmit power and special antennas for smaller footprints the above three are the major three category of satellites 
Apart from this, the satellites are also classified based on the following types of orbits. Sun synchronous orbit satellite. These satellites rise and set with the sun. The orbit is defined in such a way that they are always facing the sun and hence they never goes through an eclipse. For the satellite, the surface illumination angle will be nearly the same same very uh, same every time. Surface illumination angle, the illumination angle is the angle between the inward surface normal and the direction of light. This means that the illumination angle of certain point of the earth's surface is zero. If the sun is precisely overhead and that is that it is 90 degree at sunset and at sunrise. Homan transfer orbit. This is an intermediate orbit having a highly eclipse shape. It is used by geo satellite to reach their final destination orbits. This orbit is connected to Leo orbit at the point of degree forming a tangent and is connected to geo orbit at the point of OPG again from forming a tangent. Prograded orbit. This orbit is with an inclination of less than 90 degree. Its direction is the same as the direction of the rotation of the primary that is planet. Retrograde orbit. This orbit is with an inclination of more than 90 degree. Its direction is counter to the direction of rotation of the planet. Only few satellites are launched into retrograde orbit because the quality of fuel required to launch them is much greater than for a prograde orbit. This is because when the rocket set out on the ground, it already has an easternward components of velocity equal to the ro rotational velocity of the planet at its launch attitude. Polar orbit. This orbit passes above or nearly above both poles, north and south poles of the planet on each of its revolution. Therefore, it has an inclination of or very close to 90 degree. These orbits are highly inclined in shape. So here we have seen the different types of orbits and different types of satellites which are used for different applications based on the distance they are apart from the earth. Thank you.